Let's talk about how to bulk set instance parameters in Revit using a very simple Dynamo script and the search and replace method. Hi everyone, I'm Bertie with Bem Lounge. So the other day I was uh, dealing with having to rename a lot of parameters for rooms and I came up with uh, the simple Dynamo script. Now this script uh, can be used for all categories as long as you're trying to rename instance parameters. Now if you missed my video uh, on um, how to rename families and types, I'll put a link in the description. But let's get into today's video. Let's look at how to set an instance parameter for rooms and then we can use the same script for other categories. Now you need to set up a parameter so the first node that you'll need is the set parameter by name. And then of course you need a filtering method so Let's go ahead and uh, filter by string value. And I'm using this by string value because we're looking at searching and replacing. So we need text, uh, a text type of a parameter. So of course, let's go ahead and uh, connect those two. And then we're going to need to read the elements. So let's go ahead and uh, get all categories or the category selection and in this case uh, we'll need rooms I clicked R so that's rooms and then of course we'll need all elements of category let's connect those two and uh, mind you Make sure that this is set on manual so you don't run the script uh, before uh, it's actually time to run it. Now we can uh, set the elements there and now at this point all we need is to set up the parameters that we need to read and then the final parameter. So search for and replace with. So for that we need the parameter name and in this case we talked about using strings, so we can go ahead and use strings here and let's go ahead and copy that a few times. And um, the first one that we'll need is the parameter name, in this case is department. And the current value is, for example, I have instruction and um, I'd like to use the contains and I'll share a list of filtering methods but for now let's use contains so current value let's connect that one and now we need another one for the final value so let's assume that we want to rename instruction as classrooms for example that's just a, an example. So this is the new value. And then of course, the department is the same because we're trying to rename the same parameter. And now at this point, we want to go ahead and set all these as inputs. And for example, let's start from this one. Is input, that's categories, is input, but we want to rename this as parameter name so the user when using Dynamo player knows that that's the parameter name that they need to select and then the this is the current parameter so we can call it search for and let's set it set that as an input as well and this is the filtering method and then of course this is replace with. Very good. So that seems to be all correct. We can set that as an input. Now at this point, before we save, what I would recommend is that you include a list of uh, filtering methods. And I went ahead and uh, found the list from this node and just typed it up. And what you can do in this case is um, create another string 
and just paste the filtering methods and say filtering methods and just include it as input even though it's not really an input but at least you can uh, see it for you know the other rev the other users that will use this um, script into dynamo player so let's go ahead and save that now before we use the script in dynamo player let's go ahead and test it in dynamo i'm going to run the script and as you can see all the rooms that had the um, instruction as department now got renamed as classrooms and you can tell uh, by the color so now we have the script and we deployed it in Dynamo Player and we're ready to use it with a different category. For example, in this case, I renamed it search and replace instance parameters. So I'll go ahead and hit edit inputs. And as you can see, I have all the parameters that I set. And uh, for example, let's set this to be walls. There. For example, let's go ahead and uh, set comments. And let's find the wall so I can show you. For example, let's find the comments instance parameter. And um, well, in that case, that parameter is empty. So let's go ahead and set it as contains nothing. And we can set that to be replaced with uh, something like review. It doesn't matter. It's just a, a piece of text. And um, yeah. That should be ready. Let's go ahead and run it. And as you can see, all the walls that had no comments now had the review comment. Now, obviously, this works in this case only if you already have uh, the parameter populated with a, a string of text and then you can actually replace it. In this case, it was empty and it still worked. Now, just so I can show you that it actually replaces all those parameters. Let's um, set up a, a quick test schedule where we're scheduling walls. And uh, really all we need is probably comments for sure because we want to rename the comments and uh, maybe family and type like so. And you see that of course now all, the, all those walls have a review in them and you can uh, now go ahead and uh, say search for review maybe i should type it correctly and replace this with uh, I don't know, something that stands out checked and uh, let's set the parameter as you can see all the parameters have been replaced now let me know if you have any questions and also let me know what else you would automate Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.